right. We are back. We are back with another reaction. And today, it's a new band. We're looking at Spirit Box. Spirit Box. This one came in on one of the Ginger videos, I believe. Really? I have heard the name before. I haven't had a chance to actually ever listen to this band. Yeah, same. I've, I've heard the name. I've read a little bit about them on social media, like some promo videos. No, I've, I haven't actually heard them. I think the only thing that we know consistently is that they have a female singer. That's pretty much all I know. Look them up a little bit, Paige. All right, what do we know? Spirit Box is a Canadian heavy metal band from Victoria, British Columbia, formed in 2016. Husband and wife duo guitarist Mike Stringer and vocalist Courtney LaPlante established Spirit Box. Interesting. Nice. You don't see that kind of dynamic too often, a no. uh, husband and wife. No, never. Usually like when it's like familiar relations, it's like a group of brothers or, or right. sisters in, in regards to the warning. The band's style is difficult to pigeonhole into a specific metal music genre and displays an array of styles that draw from a variety of influences and incorporate electronic elements, though much of it is rooted in metalcore and progressive metal. Under genres, it's metalcore, progressive metal, alternative metal, post-metal, and gent. and gent. All right, so if you've seen it in the title, we are going to be checking out their song Circle With Me, official music video. I think this is the song that was recommended first, so we'll check them out. I mean, with uh, 9 million views in just one year, clearly they're doing something right. Holy crap, that's a lot. Let's see. This popped up in my recommended and it's so dope. Fire song. Awesome. I discovered Spirit Box at Knotfest Brisbane and now I love this song. I don't care what the Grammys say. This is probably the best metal performance of the year. Were they nominated? I'm not familiar. I'm not sure. Best it, metal performance. I think Ozzy Osbourne won that. Was that? Yeah, this was a year ago. It, that was a year ago. I'm, okay. seeing, I'm seeing it now. <laughs> okay. This is my five-year-old daughter's favorite song. We jammed to this so often when we cook clean or just chill playing Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we jam all the band's music. She adores your talent. She wants to be able to scream like a boy and sing like a pretty girl. <laughs> Just like you do. Thank you guys for your talent and content. Aww. Awesome. That's great. Comment. That is great. Yeah, I love it when uh, people get to share their music with their children. I tried to share my music with my kid and she wants nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Let's get into it. And here we go with our lovely transition. Oh. Alright everyone, by your request, Spirit Box, Circle, Circle with, with me. me, official video, let's Here do we it. Go. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Right away! Yeah. Launching it right out of the gate. I like that. Okay, so I'm, t I'm detecting a little bit of, uh, well, not a little bit. There is a significant amount of keys going on in the background. Lots and lots of keys and program pads and stuff. Sounds really neat and really fills out the band. Yeah, really adds really adds uh, some ambiance to it She's as well. Got a really good screaming voice from what we can see already. Really good, clean, almost understated vocal. Uh, and then the tone on the bass, yeah. awesome. Lots of technicality I've seen so far on the drum. It's interesting how it's how it just started like firing out right out of the gate, and then it just and yeah, then really see, really quick it then it just dropped. Yeah. To just you know the bass and to just the bass and the vocals like that. I love it how it came out with the screaming because yeah. sometimes it like if with the female rock songs that we've seen so far they kind of like tease you with it. They bring in with the clean and then they go scream. She yeah. was like, nope, no right teasing away. here. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll back up a little bit. All righty. Yours. 
I like that rush. No, oh, I love that. Whatever that yeah. is. Are you getting like, I'm getting the way she, she's singing this. If you were to take this vocal and you would have put it over an R&B beat, you wouldn't miss a beat. It sounds to me pop almost. And it sounds pop and it sounds almost R&B. Like almost, ah, it's hard. Exp I, I imagine that if somebody would have take her vocal and put it over a similar arrangement that wasn't heavy. You wouldn't miss it. It would sound just as it good. It would sound just as smooth. And it would say yeah, it would sound just as good and it would and it still has it would still have almost a similar vibe. It's very interesting because That's an interesting thought. It, it's actually it very contrasts with how like devilish the music can be, but I, I definitely getting like pop vocal vibes from Yeah, there's it. the there's some really interesting textures to what the what kind of sounds they're putting out. All the synth, and then there's a there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of like overlaid guitars. I think they're like little just the subtle things yeah. that are going in there that I'm hearing. All right, we're back up a little bit. All that synth. And the textures and the guitars. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone just starts moshing. Ooh. Oh yeah. Wow. That was awesome. Whew. Yeah, that was a great suggestion. That was really cool. What struck me about that, I think, is the singing parts a lot. They were so smooth. Yeah. It was very smooth. It's kind of hard to put my finger on what about it felt different from some of the other female singers that scream and sing at the same time. I don't want to say Deftones because Deftones is more kind of like a moaning, but it definitely has a similar characteristic. Where There's it's a, a similar... Kind of subdued vocal, you know what I mean? More of a smooth... And it was just kind of very... It's a similar vibe. It's a vibe. It definitely is a vibe. So there's there's, there's possibly like some Deftones influence in there. Yeah, I, I would... I would. I mean, given the given how, you know, one of the classifications for their genre was alternative, alternative is a very universal term. Yeah, And, absolutely. you know, it's, it stands to reason that Deftones are definitely in there as an oh, influence. I always love, I love Deftones. Huge Deftones fan. The guitar playing was interesting. I was starting to pick up a lot more toward the end. Yeah. There was one pan... There was a guitar pan on one side, and it sounded like the bass guitar was really holding down like the heavier grooving part. Yeah. While the other guy was just riffing, like... Dun -dun 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 
yeah, like there was a lot of moments where the where you know the guitar got to shine in terms of laying out riffs right but but throughout the song it was just the bass and the drums locking in you know providing that synth, right. providing that foundation almost like a the, guitar player would have with the uh with with the synths and the and the atmosphere and the ambience in the background yeah adding that extra dimension to it yeah but the core of it actually was fairly minimalist, you know, just right. the bass, the drums, and the vocals, Agreed. and and it worked great. Yeah, that was awesome. Really great song. Liked the chorus a lot too. That was my first time hearing Spirit Box, Me and too. I like it. I like it. weren't exactly sure what to expect, you know. Sometimes these are hit or miss, and uh, that was a hit. All right, that was our reaction to Spirit Box. If you think we should check out more Spirit Box, or a huge fan, please let us know what the next one should be. I know a lot of people like to watch us react to live videos, so if you have any great or live performances of spirit box you want us to check out send a link our way and we'll check it out let us know and we are offset era we are a three-piece pop punk band from cape coral florida we have a new album coming out may 29th we have shows coming up all over the same area we are in <laughs> hopefully soon to be more oh yeah we'll have some, a couple shows booked if you happen to be in the fort myers cape coral area please check our facebook page and if you're not in the area check out our facebook page anyway we appreciate everyone checking out our videos if you like our reactions we do have more reactions. Please check out our page. Uh, if you want to listen to Offset Era original music, please go to our page and click on playlists. We have a playlist we have put together with all of the original Offset Era music that you can check out. Thank you so much for checking our video out. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Peace out.